In this tutorial, we'll go through strategy setup and batch scripting in order for us to both position our code such that it can be accessed conveniently by a script, and then obviously write the script so it can reference that code uh, conveniently as well, and do so in a manner that correctly calls any custom conda environments that we have in place specifically for our trading strategy environment using Anaconda. Now, to give you an example of uh, where this eventually leads, having an automated trading strategy, here's an example of a strategy that has been talked about in terms of a research example in a webinar that was conducted uh, as part of the Ask Me Anything series recently, where we talked about different Darwins and analyzing their day-by-day -day cumulative behavior over time and exploring the existence of time-weighted alpha in a, any good Darwin or a portfolio of good Darwins. We've put that um, strategy to the test using exactly the same code as has been shared with you on the GitHub repository. There is absolutely no difference to the code base being used behind the strategy. And the strategy essentially looks uh, for those patterns as were discussed during the webinar. If you're interested in having a look at how we devised the logic behind it and uh, what you would need to do in order to implement it, please do visit the webinar replay on the YouTube channel uh, titled Ask Me Anything About the Darwin API. And uh, this is the uh, progress that we've made so far in testing this strategy. So, But essentially, using the code that's been shared with you on GitHub and using the information that we're sharing with you in this tutorial series, you'll be able to set up the environment exactly as we have in order to test different ideas as you see fit. Let's now head back to the VPS server and just briefly show you how the files are structured over there. We've done nothing novel. We've simply constructed a repository in exactly the same directory structure as is shared for you, um, shared with you on GitHub and uh, simply added some extra folders where we're storing the strategy content. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is a closer strategy that is responsible for an account stop out um, piece of code that we've done for this implementation and an opener script that essentially does the analysis at a particular set of times and executes accordingly once it's found a portfolio of Darwin's that satisfies our criteria. And that's pretty much it. The batch scripting is where the access begins. And for this, we'll show you the batch script. You, we only need to look at one of these as they're both exactly the same. And um, let's have a look at how to go about writing this batch script in order to uh, execute your trading strategy logic. So here we've set ourselves up with a root directory. And in this root directory is housed the path to our mini conda distribution. That's our first line. The second line is called opener. It doesn't need to be called opener. It could be called Tom and Jerry for all anybody cares. The idea is to have something to refer to later. In batch script, variables are specified by using set, then the name of the variable followed by whatever the variable should contain. In this case, a direct path to the script that is being executed, uh, the Python script that needs to be executed in order for the analysis and the order execution to happen. In order for us to call our custom environment, we'll need to do a few things. We'll take our root, we'll call our root forward slash scripts forward slash activate dot bat. This is a file contained inside the scripts directory in your mini conda 3 distribution uh, inside the installation, which is located here in this VPS's case. And you need to call that activate dot bat script with the root directory. After that, you need to call conda activate and the name of the environment you set up in our example we used automated underscore env1 in the case of this vps this is called labbot which is currently in production it's what you saw earlier on the demo account and finally python followed by the script that you'd like to execute and that's housed in this case inside a variable called opener and that's pretty much it by doing so you've specified a root directory for the mini conda distribution you've then told the batch script where your Python script is that you'd like executed. You've then called conda to activate the directory path first, and then you've called conda to activate your custom environment, which was automated underscore env1 in the example we used, but is labbot over here. And finally, you've called Python, followed by the script name that you stored in the variable opener to get this batch script executing your strategy. In the next tutorial video, we'll go through scheduling a task that does this automatically for you so you don't have to manually go ahead and process this yourself. 
As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, co-workers, and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.